Welcome back, folks. It's Wednesday, August 31st. I am Silver Gold Man, aka Connecting Dots 2, Connecting Dots 3. Okay, so let's continue on in this money bags, scumbag, and this disinformation campaign. I'll go over a little bit of the, the history of what's taking place here. So I, I've noticed that uh, a day ago he uploaded a video, which seems to have gone a little viral too, imagine that, where he, he you know, he points out my video, which I'll show you in a second here, and goes on to say that how terrible it is for me to speak out on them and call him these, that he's a scammer and a fraud. And, you know, gladly, I'm so happy. I'm very happy. I'm glad that he admitted that he removed several videos from his YouTube channel. And guess what? Those of you that love him so much, ask him what those videos are about. Ask him what the titles were. You'll soon find out it ties into exactly what I'm saying. This scumbag, Moneybag, has been out on YouTube promoting all types of ridiculous, pri ridiculous prices of gold and silver, and now he looks like an absolute loser because the snake oil salesman, Lindsay Williams, who I spoke about in my video that I'm about to show you here in a few minutes, is absolutely the snake oil salesman that I say that I am. And for him to come out and say, well, no, he had a good call on oil. Yeah, the one good call. It, Moneybags is not going to mention how many failures Lindsay Williams has had. Not once, and I could. There are so many failures, folks. It's it's disgusting. That's why money bags, you know, can't make a real video showing you exactly what's going on. So he goes on to say how the Mandela I think you know we shouldn't be so harsh on him. It's just a difference of opinion, and we don't remember. Yeah, you don't remember nothing. That's what the problem is. And when we point out the fact that you guys got it wrong, you get upset and pull out this do world parallel bullshit on us. And by the way, I'm going to get back into this because his featured channel here up on the right hand corner, Dolores Cannon, that's where the bullshit all stems. So I guess he's left the snake oil salesman, Lindsey Williams, and he's now working for Dolores and the rest of the scam club on YouTube telling you there's parallel universes. Oh, that's right. There's a person that actually left a YouTube a comment in one of my YouTube here's videos. I'll show you here over as I said I've I got a couple of YouTube channels connecting dots three is my backup channel to to connecting dots three look at this stuff these people connecting dots three is a reptilian hybrid look at this this nutcase miss milky clown connecting dots one connecting dots two connecting dots three is a silver gold man aka Louis Lim is a two-faced liar she's showing people my Fukushima videos back when the meltdown took place I was a guy on the west coast coast making these videos every single day and now she's calling me a, a, a what a two-faced liar fraud for what for for not scaring the bejesus out of people because the, the the event is it's not over there's still a meltdown but it's certainly not the maps that i was talking back then we had a reason to be concerned back then if you watch my videos absolutely i nailed it time and time again even the strontium 90 warning everyone watch out this is coming according to the germans Long story short, these people have nothing on me. They cannot make any damn videos like I'm about to do. And in fact, over Connecting Dots 3, I've made um, a, a follow-up video here. Sorry, I, I, I'd like to... Sorry. So the money bags... I got ahead of myself here. Money bags here three days ago. This is where it all started. I pointed out how he's connected with Lindsey Williams and Ari Veratimos, another one who's been lying and scamming about all future trading and robot trading. And now he's he's deleted the content, just like Mr. Moneybags. The fraud club that I'm talking about, fraud and disinformation, you can see here on the right hand side of my channel. There are many. I cannot fit them all on here. I, I go after the biggest fish in the tank. If that makes any sense to you, i got to go after the biggest scammers. What's important is that you understand Lindsey Williams and how he connects up directly with Alex Jones. And then you have your lower tier scammer, fraud, Freemason scammer on YouTube, money bags out there promoting the bullshit. And like I said, now he's skipping the record, going over to another girl. We'll come back to Dolores and her dual thing. Like I said, the guy came out and left a comment how, I never finished that one, he left a comment in my video how He'd lost his sister. He says, well, in my dual timeline, we lost one of my sisters. I'm like, is that right, eh? Well, there must be millions of people all around the world who have all lost their, their relatives and whatnot in this dual world. Come on, wake up, you. Anyways, not going to get into it, but over my other YouTube channel, Connecting Dots 2, this is where it all began here. I made this a month ago. It is still increasing. I debunk Nelson Mandela's death. I even debunk Moneybags' Berenstein Bears. I showed how the original writers, they still write their same, the name the same way. Nothing has changed. In fact, since I made the video, the original writers themselves, their son has come out and made. He's like, hold on a second. My parents always had the same name. There's never been a name change. It's always been the same characters. He cannot produce any videos like I can because it's always about making a one picture from a website that somebody made 
made up. Anyways, back to it. I debunked what else in that one? Um, I left a, con a, a link down below, okay, in that video showing you to go check out the Jaws with the braces. That that one there where it's Jaws and he meets that pretty bl blonde girl and she smiled and she has the braces. And everyone says, well, in the original film she had braces. Now the new, the DVD format, there's no more braces. I'm like, yeah, go check out the threads, that I, the links that I give you. It shows you in movie forums. Back when the movies were ch changed from the movie to a DVD format, Hollywood has done many changes. Many. That's why you'll notice none of these Nelson Mandela's uh, or these Mandela effects are no longer picking on that title of the movies because it's too easily debunkable. These The movie buffs back in the day when the DVD started coming out, they were watching the DVDs and noticing, oh, look at that, the Yellow Brick Road has this, and they change that, and they change this. He has a gun now. What's that all about? It's the changes that were done by Hollywood, okay? Long story short, I'm not going to go over all of them all, but even like the, the latest one on the Star Wars, I debunked that one. I gave you guys the link down below. Go check it out. Nobody wanted to do it, but anyways, I, I gave the links down below. I said, go check it out. You'll see that even... His Star Wars, the original documentary that's posted down below, you can see the silver leg on C-3PO. Anyways, long story short, just like a couple of days, uh, the day later, I came out and I said, okay, let's call on these people. So I said, you know, I know Moneybags won't debate me because I can make them look like too much, too silly, too stupid. So I went after somebody on YouTube who's connected with that circle jerk of corruption. His name happens to be Don Harrell. He used to run the Chili D show, investment show. He now calls himself Fractal162. I left a comment. I say, hey, come on over. Sent him an email. Come on over. Let's debate. I'll debate him on anything. Like I said, I know the circle jerk of corruption. Let's get right into Moneybags' latest rendition. I'm telling you, you're going to laugh. Okay, so this is the video he just put up here. And he's, he's, he, he's marking these videos and he wants people to vote to try and make it look like there is really a Mandela. Look at on his video number 35, there's 892 and 284 peanuts came in and, and thumbed it up. I'm calling it peanuts. Just watch to the end of the video, you'll say, oh, Jesus, I think I made a mistake and Mr. Moneybags has scammed me again. Yeah, I, <laughs> I'm not kidding, folks. He's not making these videos. He's absolutely playing. That's why I said anyone, I even went and left a comment in her. I said, leave me any one of your uh, yeah, Mandela facts. I debunk every single one. Make me a list, girls. They're not going to make me a list. They know damn well. They come and watch my shit, and they're like, oh, shit, that guy like, does it like a detective. So listen to this latest rendition of Mr. Moneybags and the Monopoly game, how he lost his glasses or his one-eyed glass. Is Anyways, listen up for yourself here. In this reality, Mr. Monopoly does not have a monocle. Please thumb up this video if you remember a monocle like I do, and please thumb down this video if you never recall Rich Uncle Pennybags being depicted by Parker Brothers as having a monocle. So again, it's all based on what? Memory. No proof. But he does have some proof, but it's, it's, it's a video game on The Sims. Again, I'll debunk that. I got the Sims, uh, the the game. I've got the who this banker is all based on. And oddly enough, Moneybags, who makes videos on the economy, ought to know exactly who is on the friggin' front of the Monopoly game. He's not. He's not going to tell the subscribers because people realize, oh, JP Morgan never had a damn monocle. Anyways, let's listen up here the rest of his garbage. Up until now, you've seen images from how the official Mr. Monopoly has always appeared in this reality. But many of us have memories of another rich uncle, Pennybags, and the remainder of this video will consist of reality residue that comes from the memories of people who were conscious in another reality and retain those memories today. Okay, okay. Like, honestly, when I hear this stuff, I, I got to burst out laughing. I'm like, okay, so you guys were in another parallel universe and you guys were living that experience while we were all living this one? Oh, I see. So what, we're disconnected at that point? So when you and I went and played the Monopoly game back in those days, you, you don't remember that one. That that was totally erased. You're over there in that other parallel universe and you're playing Monopoly with that other gang. Is that what happened? Oh, I totally get it now. Oh, it makes so much sense now. So my mechanic, now I know why he can't fix my car. He was educated in the other universe. <laughs>
Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's uh, give him the last uh, few seconds here. What does he have to say? Once again, please thumb up this video if you recall Mr. Monopoly as always being depicted with a monocle. If you never recall a monocle eyepiece, please thumb down the video. So I gotta stop it here because he'd love to hit me on a copyright strike. So essentially, if you, I'll leave the link down below. You can go watch this garbage if you want. But I, I've gone over it, and he's got no evidence. Everything that he pulls out is a makeup of something else. Or in his biggest, his biggest evidence is several kids that have played the Sims game. Okay, and other ones are character drawings that people have made up. Nothing official. Uh, did you hear what I just said? Nothing official from the game to back up his premise that at one point there was a monocle. No, there was no one single eye piece. And like I said, if he would just be honest with, with his subscribers and tell them exactly, exactly who's on that front of that of that picture of that uh, of his videos, we, we it would be over. Over and done with. So I'm gonna show you exactly what's going on. That's what the this is what I'm doing here, okay, folks? We're, we're, we're spreading some truth that he doesn't want you folks to see. So, even in the original cards, it was J.P. Morgan. Okay? That's, that's who this is all based on. Mr. Moneybags is nothing but a scumbag liar who can't even produce the pr proper evidence to even show like the reality of the Mandela effect that it's nothing but people with bad memory a bunch of peanuts. No, I kid you not. I'd, like I said, we'll get into that in a second, but let's continue on here because the truth was there. Even the original cover of the game, when it first came out, there is no monocle. It was called The Rich Uncle, the Parker Trading Game, Parker Brothers. And then in the second release, 1935, we got to see the game start to do some changes. The, 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 even the biggest change, like I said, the, the game, The Sims, this is stuff that he could have researched. The game itself, the character in the game, clearly showed that there was that was based on the J.P. Morgan character. Take a look at his glasses. Oh, shit, Moneybags. Like, I didn't know that. Connecting dots, silver gold, man. Well, then you got to stop making your bullshit videos because I'm debunking everything that you make. And I don't have time to keep making these videos. I'm hoping your subscribers will start waking up. So, yes, Mr. Milburn, rich uncle, penny bags, never had glasses. May have worn them, maybe to look at numbers, reading what the case is, but in all of the game images, there is no pic. There, there are no glasses. And people that used to dress up, you know, to go to parties, never had the glasses. It was nothing. It's nothing like you remember. The problem is you just don't have a good memory, okay? The the, the only person in the game was that little kid paint, when he had to pay the school tax. All right. So this is where I'm saying you guys are kind of peanuts. It's Mr. Peanuts. That's who had... Yeah, oh, he's like, oh, shit, thanks, Silver Gold Man, thanks a lot. Well, stop making the damn bullshit videos, because I'll debunk your bullshit, okay? And he even even he's gone, he's undergone changes, and I'm dealing this right now before he tries to say, do you guys remember the guy, blah, 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 blah. Like, honestly, this is sad here. This is the kind of bullshit that goes on on YouTube. So don't listen to the, the peanuts out there. There's too many <laughs> in the peanut gallery. It's time you wake up, you, you get informed. The video's over at my Connecting Dots 2, Connecting Dots 3 YouTube channel. It's uh, get yourself informed on the Mandela Infect. I, I've explained it a month ago. Uh, follow the links down below. I get rid of all the garbage comments and I leave the hot links down below in my comments. Just search them out. The information's there on both of my YouTube channels, Connecting Dots 2, and as I said, I've got the Connecting Dots 3 channel. So it's up to you guys if you want to follow along. I can't keep, keep debunking them one after another, but if you want to leave a long list, I'll do that. Take care. Hope you enjoyed the truth. And make sure you tune in. I'll be back here with Dolores Cannon and her BS with more very simple theories to debunk all of this dual world baloney. Okay? Hope you enjoyed the video.